This is question 17 from a series of videos taking a look at the LXL practice papers. Here we're told that P is inversely proportional to the square of X. Given that X is equal to 5 when P is equal to 6, find the value of P when X is equal to 8. And we're asked to give your answer correct to two decimal places. So the first thing that we're going to look at is this statement here. We're told that P is inversely proportional to the square of X. Now, what we can say, how we can interpret this statement, is that we can now say that P is equal to K, which is just a constant, over X squared, the square of X. Okay. Now, what we're going to need to do, first of all, is we're going to need to find out what this constant is, what value is um, being divided by X squared to give us P. So to work that out, all that I'm going to do is substitute in x equals 5 and p equals 6. <clears throat> so p is equal to 6, so I can say 6 is equal to k over 5 squared. So k over 5 squared, just substituting in. And that means that k will be equal to, now solving this equation, k will be equal to 6 multiplied by 5 squared. And so that means that k will be equal to 6 multiplied by 25, which is 150. So k is equal to 150. That value, now we know the value of k, we can write a full formula for uh, p in terms of x. So what we can say is that p will be equal to 150 divided by x squared. So what we're asked to do is we're asked to find the value of p when x equals 8. So all that we now need to do is substitute in. So p is going to be equal to 150 divided by 8 squared. And for this, we're going to need a calculator. So let's just substitute in here. What we can say is that uh, is 150 divided by 8 squared that's going to give us an answer of, and it says give your answer correct to two decimal places. So our answer is going to be 2.34. So final answer, P is equal to 2.34.